Hello, we shall discuss now a static voltage stabilizer which is a true replacement to servo stabilizer that is servo control voltage stabilizer what we call it using MOSFETs for super high speed correction any stabilizer even servo voltage stabilizer it has a correction time it takes a little bit of time for correction whereas in the semiconductor device power semiconductor device where we are using two MOSFETs the speed of correction is in the order of milliseconds. So we will discuss all that in detail. Before that, let us understand this circuit where we have an alternator and we give some voltage. When we Once we give the voltage, so 230 volts, 50 hertz, the 230 volts, and then when we open the switch, you can see that it, uh, it goes back to zero. So this is a 230 volts, we are getting 12 volts. We will use this concept, use this kind of transformer in subsequent uh, devices. You can mark your plus minus and minus plus. Actually, there is nothing like plus minus in uh, transformer or in AC. It is called the polarity. But for the purpose of better understanding, we have indicated that positive half cycle, this side will be positive, this side will be negative. And the negative half cycle of the same supply, same cycle, this side will be positive, this side will be negative. And this happens every 10 milliseconds. 10 milliseconds, this will be positive, this will be negative. Another 10 milliseconds, this will be positive, this is negative. This is because of the total, total 20 millisecond time period of the 50 hertz cycle that we use. And we see here, in the secondary also, similarly, whatever is the polarity here, it is actually called polarity, not positive negative. But for the again, I repeat, it is for the purpose of understanding, we have marked it positive negative because it will be easy for us to understand the subsequent circuits when we discuss. Let us look at this circuit where we have a 9 volt battery and we have a 1.5 volt battery is connected exactly in series with this. That means negative, positive, negative, positive. And then what voltage we will get here when we switch on? We will get 10.5 volts, 9 volt plus 1.5 volt, 10.5 volts. And here, when we, the same thing, when we apply it to AC, this 230 volt gives 12 volt. But when, when we make a connection like this, that means positive to negative, and positive is out, negative is out, exactly in the similar way that we have been seeing in the DC. And in the process, this is positive negative minded. Again, it is for the only half cycle of that. And next half cycle, this will become positive, this will become negative. The same thing will happen. So now when we switch on this, what we find that this gives 230 volts and we get 12 volts, but the output is 242 because 230 plus 12 getting added and you get 242 volts. This is what we call boost. In voltage stabilizer, sometimes we have to boost the voltage and sometimes we have to buck the voltage. That means to reduce the voltage. So this is as far as the boost is concerned in AC, what we have compared with the a DC situation. Let's see another situation where we have same negative positive, but I have connected positive to positive and negative here. And what will be the voltage here? Can you expect? It will be, once we operate this, we'll find this is 9 volts minus 1.5 volts, it's 7.5 volts. Same thing in the AC concept, once I switched it, uh, what we have connected it, positive to positive and negative is going to out and this negative is out. Don't think in terms of positive negative, it is AC, there is nothing like positive negative, it is for your understanding only we are now trying to call it positive negative, that means positive half cycle, this will be positive negative, negative half cycle, this will be positive, this will be negative. Now, okay, now when you switch on this, what we find? 230 volts minus 12 volts, you get 218 volts. So this is what is the concept of buck, that means reducing the voltage at what we have seen in the earlier, which was boosting the voltage. Okay, now let's see another situation where we have the same transformer, but we have connected two MOSFETs for giving some pulsed voltage. Once we give pulse voltage to the gate, this will switch on for some time, next this will, and like that, this will go on switching this and this, this and this accordingly, because positive half cycle, this will switch on, negative half cycle, this will switch on, but once you switch it on at a very high frequency, then it will 
have impact on its AC also. Now, for example, when I switch it on, you find these are the very high frequency pulses which have been given to the gate. I have taken the connection from the gate to the oscilloscope and there is no output. And once I switch on, the, when I switch on this, what do you find? You get a very pure AC output and you can see some kind of operation here. Now, if I zoom it, maybe you will be able to understand it better. You see, see these are the on-off on -off switches and this is how the AC supply is happening and you can see and you can see the I am given here about 115 volts and I get about 6 volts because I am switching it on 50% of the time on and 50% of the time off as, at a higher frequency. This frequency is very high. This is about what we have set it around 5 kilohertz. But this is 50 hertz. But whereas this is 5 kilohertz. That's where you are not able to see the waveform here. Once I zoom it, then only perhaps you will be able to see this. See, this is 5, uh, that is uh, 5 kilohertz. So, this is how the AC voltage is appearing at a lesser voltage once you switch it on and off depending on its frequency. Now, we will come back to the situation where we will see this circuit. First, understand the circuit, then we will try to operate this. In this circuit, we have a peak microcontroller and then we have uh, certain arrangements here. Like this is a small transformer, signal transformer to developing some kind of 9 volt or something like that. And uh, it is this. actually the, the there should have been two diodes here and then making a DC and that DC should have come here which, is, which will be ar around 15 volts. But because of the simulation problem, we are not able to take the DC from here uh, 15 volts because this 15, once this AC voltage will vary, once the AC voltage will change, this also will change that the DC will also be changed and that changed DC will appear here and in the process this will uh, uh, and the switch will be going to this side, the switch will be in this side, when the switch in this side and this connection has not been made deliberately and we are supplying a 15 volt here just to avoid the simulation problems. But actually it should have been, it should have gone with a uh, two diodes because it's a center tapped uh, transformer, it should have gone with a two diodes to this point, particular point. And uh, then it comes to with this switch and there is a variable resistor here. Based on this variable resistor, we will see how the voltage is changing. This variable resistor will simulate a situation as if the input voltage is changing. Because we are not connecting directly from here, we will change it here and to see the function. It will not be possible for us to connect this at the moment. Actually, in the, in the actual practice, this will be connected through two diodes to this point. Now, let's see. Uh, okay. And then we have ULN 2003. ULN 2003 has been connected in such a fashion that this will be driving the MOSFET gates. You can see the circuit and this will be used for driving the MOSFET gates. There are two MOSFETs which are connected in, uh, in this typical fashion and we will try to explain this how it works. Now, for example, when this side is positive, this is a bridge rectifier. Don't think that we are giving some DC. We are not giving DC, but let us try to understand how it happens. When this, side, when this side is positive, I told you in AC, this is positive, this is negative and next half cycle, this becomes positive, this becomes negative. Now it is a bit difficult to understand, but still I will try to simplify it as far as possible. Now when this side is a positive half cycle, when this side is positive, as we discussed before, it starts going this way. It cannot go this way in this bridge rectifier. It is actually not a rectifier. It is just used for the conduction purposes. It goes this way and it reaches here. It can either go this side or it can go this side. But if, if this side, if this MOSFET is switched on and this is not, then this has to only go from this way and then complete the ground and complete the path here by this coming by this diode and then completing the path going this way and comes here comes here comes here comes here to the ground and back to the this way back to the supply so this is what is the path similarly for the other half side now the trick is how to change the phase because in earlier examples what we seen we were changing the phase for buck and boost operation. Here, changing the phase is a little uh, interesting one. So, what happens when this side is positive and if this is conducting, so this will be positive. And, but when this is positive 
and I switch on this one. So what will happen? So this side will be positive. This side will be positive means this side will be positive. This side will be negative. Now please try to understand. When this was positive, when this was positive and uh, this was positive and this was positive and in the process this was positive, this was negative. But if at th that particular moment when the phase is this is positive, at that particular moment, that particular half cycle, if I switch on this one, so it will flow this way. So this one becomes positive and this one becomes negative. That means the phase changes. So this is only the secondary voltage. We have deliberately not connected it to the primary voltage. This is the primary voltage. We are not deliberately connected. This is the primary winding of the transformer. We have not connected deliberately to, for the simulation purposes. But this secondary voltage, you see the secondary voltage phase is changing. So once the phase changes, either it will buck or it will boost. If there is no change, then the input will be equal to output. So this is what it's a bit difficult to understand, but this is what the how the phase change takes place in the process. And what we have done here, we have uh, a, an arrangement here. If we keep the uh, switch here, and this is at, uh, now supposing switch here. Now this is five volt. This is given to 5 volt and 5 volt means this will be 2.5 volt and 2.5 volt the input will be equal to output. But then when it goes this, so it will be boosting. When it goes little above this will be boosting and when it goes little below the, when it goes little below the, this function, it will be bucking. And mind it, this we are not changing uh, uh, in real practice. The change will take place here. And because this voltage will be connected here, so the, this change will reflect on this place. When, when we came, when we bring the switch to this side. Now let's see the, uh, the, uh, the boost position. Now supposing little, little above boost position. And when we switch on this, when we switch on this, what we find is that now let's see this operation uh, carefully. Let me pause it and then go over to this thing carefully. See what is happening when this side is when this side in the when uh, this is the positive half cycle. This is the positive half cycle. In the positive half cycle, this yellow is positive and uh, blue is negative. This situation. In this situation, what is happening? You see now. In the positive half cycle, blue is high. So that is how the phase has changed. The phase has changed. Phase at this secondary has changed. So what we have explained before that when it is positive to negative, it is boost. When it is positive to positive, this is what we had seen. And this happens, this automatically. It, in fact, the program decides which one will be switched on first. I hope you have understood this uh, clearly because depending on which one is switched first, then only the uh, phase is decided. If this is switched first with respect to this positive and uh, this becomes positive or if this is switched when even if this is positive and when we switch on this one so this becomes positive or this becomes negative so the phase changes and let me tell you again and again this is not positive negative as far as the AC is concerned for your understanding purpose only we are telling about positive and negative. So this is what is how buck and boost operation takes place. And similarly, when we switch on to this side, so this is around 4.97 volt, same thing, you will get same similar kind of function when it is actual thing is coming. We have assumed that 15 volt is coming here and then we have a general diode of about 10 volts. So 5 volt will be appearing here and this 5 volt is given here to this potential divider based on which there is 2.5 volt, there is no buck and no boost. Now if I put it this way, and try to switch on you see there is no buck boost this is this is because of such simulation error but there is no buck boost in the uh, the output is same as the input this is the beauty of this particular circuit where you have either uh, the, the center point is the zero based on which the code has to be written and the code if you look at the code is written in assembly as you notice this code is written in an assembly in fact it has been uh, taken from somewhere else but I would uh, request if somebody would uh, uh, take this uh, input, the description and the input, assembly uh, code input and write the program in C so that you will be much better to understand. 
This is what is the assembly program. Please get in touch with us. Though the circuit is bit complicated, but it, it needs to be understood as being explained. Please find the final circuit here where we have taken all actual component values like this uh, transformer 1, transformer 2, the controller uh, connections, the MOSFET and uh, the uh, 7805 for 5 volts and then all these details and the transformer arrangement everything has been discussed everything has been shown here for full function of the circuit thank you